Brothers and sisters, I was a crack salesman for the Central Appliance Company. I was the top salesman. Folks knew me in 14 states by my first name, Elmer. My name's Elmer Gantry. And I was on a roll, setting sales records coast to coast. But then I realized, who am I trying to kid, brothers and sisters? It was no life at all. I was in hell. I was just a tramp in a silk shirt in a dingy hotel room. I always had to tell dirty stories to keep the buyers laughing, brothers and sisters. I always had to have my pint bottle of whiskey to be one of the boys. I was miserable. I was depressed. I tried to call some lady friends I knew in that town. No one was home. No one wanted to see me. Miserable. Depressed. You ever been there? Lonely. I reached into that dresser drawer, and what did I find? I pulled out a Gideon Bible, brothers and sisters. Glory to God. And I opened it up, and I read here from Psalm 18, the Lord is my rock. Do you hear me, brothers and sisters? The Lord is my rock. The Lord is my rock. Glory. And I walked into the general store that I was headed to, and I said, would you like to buy something today? They said, hey, con man, what are you selling? Some gold-plated vacuum cleaners, huh? I said, no, you can get better vacuum cleaners at Sears and Roebuck, and you can get them a lot cheaper than what I'll tell you. But I have some good electric irons. And you know what? I wrote my biggest sale of the year. Glory to God. Who made that sale? The Lord made that sale because I got right with him. Hallelujah. I told my pals I'm coming to Jesus. I'm getting right with God. No more dirty stories. And they mocked me. They laughed at me. They bullied me and made fun of me. And then I met sweet sister Sharon, that female evangelist with that golden angelic voice. I came into her tent revival and she didn't mock my faith. She said, Elmer, you give those boys all the hell that's in the good book. You don't like hell? Well, God put it in there. He wrote it. I quote it. And if you don't repent, you're going to the stinking, scalding, burning, everlasting flames of a Christ-like grave. Glory. And I say that to you because I love you. I don't want you to go there because this town's going to hell. I was on a corner, brothers and sisters, and I got approached by three loose-painted women, hussies, whores. They handed me these French postcards. Have them here in my pocket. Pornographic. I won't let you young people see them. Thank God you can't see them. They were given to me by a bearded man. And I said, we got to clean this town up. We got to clean up the sex. We got to clean up the booze. Booze robs the virtue of 60,000 innocent virgin girls in this country every year. Booze put a bullet through Abraham Lincoln. Booze is destroying this town. And with my feet, I'm going to kick booze. With my fists, I'm going to fight booze. And with my mouth, I'm going to bite booze until it goes to hell. And I go straight to heaven. And we're going to wipe booze out of this land. Glory to God. We're going to clean up this town. But there's an ungodly writer who's writing for your local paper here in Cato, Missouri, for the Zenith Times, writing lies and saying, I'm just trying to con you out of your money. His name's Jim Lefferts. I call him Lucifer Lefferts. He's Satan's poison pen. And Jesus, I'm going to pray right now. Join me, brothers and sisters. I'm going to pray for the salvation of Jim Lucifer Lefferts. Can you hear me, Lord? I love you, too. Can you save old sinner Jim writing all these lies about me in the paper? You're going to have to use some disinfectant and some rubber gloves. He's a really bad sinner, but I think you could save him too, couldn't you? I thought you could. He's coming back. Oh, you hear that? He's hearing me. The Lord's hearing me. I can feel it. Woo! I feel the Holy Ghost on me. Whoa! Whoa, man, look at that. Wow, look at that. Woo! Oh, any baseball player can jump and slide like that, but you have the guts to play on God's team? with the captain of that team, a Jesus Christ Almighty. Come on forward right now, brothers and sisters. Come right forward here. Open your hearts. You listen at home by TV. Open your hearts and open your pocketbooks if you can contribute to this ministry. Every seed you sow out of your need will be multiplied. Come on. Who's going to come shake hands for Jesus? He didn't die on that cross in vain, did he? Oh, I see that hand. This young pimply-faced youth. He's getting right with God over here. Well, that's all the time we have. Till next time, I'm be back with you and Sister Sharon Falconer with our revival soul saving hour. For now, God bless you. From my heart to God's to yours, Reverend Elmer Gantry. Thank you, and amen. That's it. We're playing those in great.